Hey guys, we're gonna look at my tech stack in 2024. These are all the tools I'm using. Not all, but a lot of them that I'm using. It's funny, Aaron here mentioned Go High Level, which is just a very underrated and amazing tool as well. So first, when it comes to AI, I'm using ChatGPT and MidJourney all the time. So ChatGPT, it just gives me ideas for copywriting. If I need to translate documents or certain things, or even just get inspiration. There's a lot I use ChatGPT every day. I get a different reason to use it. Next is MidJourney. I love MidJourney. This is AI images. This is when I want to just get some ideas, whether it's for tweets or something. I want to just really play with the imagination and just see what's possible. When it comes to design, I'm usually designing mostly in Figma and Canva. Canva for YouTube thumbnails, but a lot of things like this photo I designed in Figma. Figma really, it's just the more you use it, the easier it gets. I've been using it now for a year and a half. And yeah, it's just the beginning. It was a lot of things to go through, but I highly recommend it. I know some people use Miro. Figma has a version that's like Miro, which is called Fig Jam. So that's more for making flow charts and funnels and mind mapping things, which mind mapping you can also do with ChatGPT now if you have GPT-4. Next, when it comes to video, so video, I, I edit them on Descript, like this video, it's edited on Descript. And then if I need to compress, I'll use Handbrake, but generally this is, this is before I was uploading my videos on YouTube when I really needed to compress. Now that my videos on YouTube, I don't really need to compress. Now, when it comes to website builders, I've built on tons of website builders in the past, but these are the ones I'm building mostly on. My two favorites are Framer and Replo. So Framer is for any client, any website like coaches, agencies, B2B, marketing, SaaS, apps, even AI automation, you name it, it's gonna be on Framer, unless the client specifies otherwise, but it's usually always gonna be on Framer. Replo is all for e-commerce. Generally, anyone who's e-commerce, their site is on Shopify, which I've been building Shopify sites since 2015 around. So Replo is the landing page that I build on Shopify, so for e-commerce. So Framer for servers, B2B, coaches, Replo is for e-commerce. Then we got WordPress and Wix. Uh, a lot of people still were using WordPress, which surprises me every day, but you know, WordPress has been around probably the longest, so it just makes sense that a lot of people are gonna be grandfathered in with their sites on there. When it comes to SEO, I, I have an account with Ahrefs. So Ahrefs is great for getting keyword ideas, for seeing how co competitors are doing, what keywords they're using. And then I use GT Metrics for checking site speed usually. Also, I'll use page speed insights as well. Icons are super important for your landing pages and sites. So I'm always using Lord Icon and Icon Zate. There's another one I'll use is Story Sets and Lottie Files, but these two I'm using the most, uh, probably Lord Icon the most, honestly. Then email, I got my email newsletter set up with ConvertKit. I use Smart Lead for cold email. I use Apollo for getting leads, although I don't use Apollo as much as I used to. I'm using more now D7 Lead Finder, some other tools here and there I'm, I'm testing out. But yeah, Apollo, not, I use Apollo a lot, but just not as much anymore these days. And then I'll verify my leads on Million Verifier, also on BrandNav and Never Bounce. These are just a bunch of the many, many tools I'm using every day. But these are some very powerful tools and builders that if you're an online business owner today, you really need to be using.